Hi everyone and welcome to episode 7, welcome back. Uh, and also I did want to make a quick announcement before I started because I think obviously well, a lot of people have been watching this run and I think the idea seems quite popular of making a particularly pretty base. Um, I had a thought, if, everyone, if people want to share their bases with me, if you've got pretty bases or bases you're particularly proud of that you think look good, um, I could, I could make a YouTube video kind of showcasing those if I get enough of them. Um, so probably the best way to do that is through, is through the Discord. Um, so we could do, a, we could do like a, I mean that's not an original idea. I am very much aware that Francis John did that a while ago with his, um, with his, his, he had a series on that. I can't remember, it was Base Loving, that was what it was, which was a great series. So, you know, we could, um, we could revive an episode of that maybe if, uh, if people want to send me their bases and have a look, I think that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, otherwise we're, we're going to keep building. I think today we're going to do, we're going to try and get started on a petroleum boiler because we, we desperately need to get this going. Um, I'm also trying to remember what else I was doing last time because, uh, it was a while ago for me. It was a week and a lot happens in a week. Uh, so yeah, I was definitely trying to find the third oil reservoir, assuming there is one. Uh, there may not be, uh, but I'm hoping there's at least a third one. Uh, so let's let's hunt for it anyway. Um, the other thing I did quickly want to mention, particularly for you guys on YouTube. Um, hello YouTube, suffocating. Okay, running out of uh, oxygen there. Um, in terms of the VODs, the VOD frequency is going to change a little bit over the next uh, three weeks because I will be on holiday soon. Uh, for two weeks, which means I'm going to try and space out the VODs on the YouTube channel, so the frequency will go down. It'll be two a week, not three a week. But doing it that way means that you guys at least get a couple of VODs every week rather than giving you all of them and then there being a big break and nothing. So uh, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, and then also we'll, we'll sprinkle in some some actual videos, um, you know, scripted videos that I am making, some extra bits. So next Critter Tutorial Byte will be coming. Uh, and I can probably reveal now that that will be that will be on plug slugs. And there was a bit of discussion last time, or when when people were voting for it, whether it was Dreco's or uh, plug slugs. Obviously, that vote goes down to my Patreon uh, members and also my Twitch subscribers as well. So for the the huge number of you that are now subscribed on Twitch as well, if you join the Discord, um, you might have to give me a nudge, but I can give you the. I can give you the luxury shroom roll on the Discord and then you are able to vote for the next uh, Tutorial Byte topic. That is one of the perks that is included in that. So make sure you do join the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, and that also extends to Patreon members as well. Um, so yes, the, the Plug Slug one will be next. <laughs> if ever I wanted to know. Uh, and also thank you for the follow there, Jin, and uh, um, I wonder what happens to my, is my Streamlabs working? Um, I have also, just as another, <laughs> doing a lot of housekeeping uh, early on, let's grab this uh, blueprint. I have also reduced the volume of the subscriber and the follower notification, uh, and previously I've moved that slightly off to the side. I think, uh, I think to be fair, it was a bit distracting, and a couple of you said that, so hopefully that makes it a bit, uh, bit less in your face and uh, less distracting which is good so I don't want to cover my twitch stream full of full of stuff you know I, I, I like trying to keep it focused on the game let's focus on the game I don't want a billion overlays and you can only see a third of the screen because I've got a giant giant um, you know uh, what do you call it border on everything and then then chat is taking up half the screen and you can't see what they're doing by the time you've finished with all that so uh, yeah we'll try and keep it which we should be relatively clean uh, okay, we we don't have any slime lung, do we? I just said we have polluted oxygen everywhere, but because it's so cold, there are no germs, which is great. Um, what, uh, oh, that's bad. That's, uh... Is he gonna survive? Okay, he should be fine, I think. He's got quite a long way to go up. Is he gonna make it? Uh, oh dear. No? Oh, he didn't make it. He did not make it. Oh, we just had a first fatality. Okay. Um, what what was what was Dog's body? Uh, he was our mechatronics engineer. Oh dear. That's uh, that's, that's that's a good start, isn't it? 
this uh, this thing's too long and the gas masks are a bit rubbish. So just as a warning there, um, learn from my mistakes. Gas masks, not great. Apparently, they are really struggling to get down here. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I say, there's a resurrection guarantee and we need... Uh, we do need our caretakers, so we're going to have to revive him as another one. A restart. There's no there's no safe scumming here. I don't do that on stream. Um, actually, I, I used to do that when I was playing by myself, but but on stream I just, just don't do it. If, uh, if we lose a dupe, we'll just keep going. We'll, uh, we'll get on with it. It's all right. Not a problem. Well, minor problem, you know, but uh, fixable. Okay, so yeah, so we're trying to do some storage. It's yeah, the problem is the gas masks. The gas masks are not giving them enough oxygen to confidently get down here. We really need Atmo suits. Uh, we now have one thimble reed, although it is still slightly too cold down there. Um, our water situation is a bit dire. This one is dormant. Um, I'm guessing we're going to have to start um, pulling from here. I think. This, uh, yeah. Before we run out of water for, uh, for oxygen. That's the one. Let's go up. Uh, da, da, da. that can just come out. It can come out into this one, but we need to desalinate it first. This is a hot geyser, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Lovely. Great. So let's pop that bridge on. Uh, power. See, this is also the benefit of having heavy wire all the way down here. I think someone asked me that in the comments. Why do you run run heavy water all over the place? Yes, there is a huge decor penalty, but we're not really going for morale decor, so it doesn't really matter. If it's minus one or if it's minus 300, you still get the same uh, penalty, so it doesn't really make any difference. And then we can just pull off power like that, so that's pretty convenient. Um, we should, yeah, probably just prioritise this. I think what we'll do is we'll stick in a uh, desalinator over here. And yeah, we'll make it out of gold just for... Uh, Just for safety, I mean, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna overheat. Not with this temperature around, I think there's no overheat risk. But it always helps to make machines out of gold amalgam, you know, if you've got it to hand. Uh, we can also free this water up. Where is this water going? Nowhere. Um, yes, yeah, so we really, we really need to think about uh, grabbing water sources because this pool is not going to cut it. Uh, I suppose as well, rather than, than dump it into this water supply here, surely we should uh, we should put it straight into the into this supply. But the annoying thing is, okay, I need to do this without breaking breaking the bottom. <laughs> we'll just do a bit of an ugly routing, to be honest, but it will do. So we'll just prioritise all this stuff. Great. Uh, yeah. Yes. Th that is the thing about the heavy watt spine. It does use a lot of metal. So uh, strip mining really helps. I mean, there is an insane amount of uranium ore on this planetoid. It looks like there's almost more uranium ore than everything else. Although that is lead. That's lead, not gold. Maybe. There's a lot of iron as well. Which is good. I mean, that's all steel, copper up there. So there's metal everywhere. But you really have to uh, strip mine for it. And welcome in Razor as well. Let's see, let's see if we can uh, we can grab this water, and that's gonna gonna help us out. What we can also do is just fill this in, and it just pushes this up a little bit. Uh, we can if we dig that, we could grab some granite. Generally, you want to build out whatever's local. That will speed you up. And then we'll push all this to the side. Perfect. So once they've built that, we can now uh, route that to it, and I suppose we'll just go 50-50 on that. Seems reasonable. Who's starving? Hmm. Yeah, see, I, I don't think they can get down here. I don't think the mask is enough oxygen for them to manage and get all the way up. There is too much for them to do. It's going to be a bit annoying, though, because I really need that third reservoir. Um, hmm. We may have to, we could come across and go down, but the problem is the oxygen is still bad down there. We could use this one, for example, because there's, there seems to be loads of oxygen up here. I don't know. It's polluted oxygen. That's where it's come from. Um, 
So for example, we could we could ladder on down here. We got some igneous rock. Can find whatever's local to here, and we can just build down. It looks like I've gone through abyssalite, granite. Obviously, obsidian's come from the volcano. Obsidian you generally find covering uh, volcanoes and uh, geysers. Any geysers, not just volcanoes. See if we can. We can just uh, nip down here. Uh, I see there's another geyser down here. I say this world is insane for geysers. Uh, so just carbon oxide vent. Always forget if I've checked these or not. Uh, there's too many of them. Okay, yeah, so this one is just, just you know, slowly pushing steam out here. Uh, we good? Yeah, okay, so we connected the water up. So this is going to feed uh, feed the oxygen from this giant pool as well. So that's all good. Uh, we can just put a ladder in there to go do the analysis on it whilst it's dormant. That's usually a good idea. Uh, right, I notice we are dripping water down here. I think it's turning to ice at the bottom. Yeah, geoactive rime is a, is definitely a, a big one. A lot of geysers on that. So what I want to do is just block that, but then... I wonder if we can block this as well. Really a simple ridge as well, but there's very little polluted water here, and the polluted water that is here is very cold. And thimble reeds do not like cold. The base looks good. I mean, this is this is definitely the lead helping out. So, uh, yeah, this giant open area isn't ideal, but if anything, we're slightly too hot in this corner, and the base is lovely and green. So that's helping us do our uh, our mealwood. And if we want to, say, add another layer of mealwood, depending on the food. I mean. We should have five per dupe, and here we've got, that's 18, that's 17, so that's 35, that's seven dupes worth of food, and obviously we've got 11, which should be, should be 12. Uh, the rest is just coming from random stuff around the map, I think, although probably not a lot of other good places for it. So, we may have to have a look at that. That's got dug in there. Yes, our toilets are going to run out. There we go. You know, I want to think about more food, and um, but yeah, I did want to capture this this volcano as well. So, just so got my my own reference image from my tutorial by as I said, that's uh, that helps me check my own work. Uh, we'll make a reasonable storage for it. I mean, it doesn't need to be huge. Uh, you know, we can do that. And the key thing is the magma blade. So this hair whole area will fill up with. Um, it's not using this rock. You should use obsidian in here because it won't melt. Uh, and we'll, yeah, we can dig across that as well. Uh, yeah, so so this whole area can fill up with magma, but it'll only start getting st stuck once you pass it through one tile gap. So this is the point at which the magma blade starts. Um, and then you should have ten tiles, and it should drop on the tenth one. So it should drop here, effectively. Um, so you would have something like this, because you need to fit a door in there, and then that will come across as well. But we can, we need to leave access to dig it. We can also grab this water too. So yeah, anyway, let's start trying to do that. Uh, yeah, exactly, the, the food will be sorted if we get the petroleum boiler done, which is why they're so good. I mean, that and the power, and the petroleum, I mean, there's, there's so many benefits from it. The food is a big benefit of a petroleum boiler, so... Uh, we're using the right material for the tiles. Yeah, so I use igneous rock. Now, I think generally you could say that you should use obsidian. Although I don't I don't think I have enough obsidian to do it. The insulated tiles... Well, the risk you're trying to mitigate there, right, is the melting. Okay, and it is correct to say that igneous rock will melt under magma temperatures. But the heat transfer is so slow... I have never had one melt in a couple of thousand cycles by using igneous rock. So, you know, at the very least, igneous rock is good for thousands of cycles, like at least one or two thousand cycles, I think. Uh, and by that time, if you're really having a problem, you can swap it with obsidian at that point, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's what I would say. Right, I'm going to grab Quinn, who's going to um, represent Dog's body. Uh, there we go. Who's going to come back in? And uh, thank you, Fedaika, for the subscription as well. Appreciate it very much. My sublist is 
ridiculously long, but appreciate every single one of you. I say the support for this series has been been crazy, but appreciate that. Um, as I've been saying though, you might not make it into the base because the the, the number of subs has just just exploded. Yes, and hello YouTube as well. So we'll be going YouTube. Uh, welcome in. Good to see new people in as always. Uh, most of you coming from the YouTube. That's usually how it goes. That's uh, all great. All right. Two, three. Uh, also, thank you for the follow. Hermodas. Uh, Hermodas. Uh, not sure where to put the emphasis. So, so it's a struggle with learning a new language as well. Why do you put the emphasis on the words? So, do love Spanish for that. Shout out to Devra for for his Spanish. At least you know where the emphasis goes on the words. If you see a word in Spanish, you know how to say it. It's great. Uh, love that feature. English is probably the opposite of that, isn't it? Really, <laughs> it's like we just we put some letters together and then you have to have a guess about how you say it. Uh, so yeah, appreciate that. Let's. Uh, uh, okay, is that this is igneous rock too? Okay, but we can deconstruct that. So yeah, what we'll do? We need to start capturing the um, the volcano. That's going to be a key step. Uh, so we can. What? Is it Cervera? Uh, sorry. See, I said that, I didn't get it wrong. Classic. Classic. I didn't know if you had an accent or not, that's the thing. Because sometimes, if you're just using normal alphabet... Got it. Uh, right, is this going to be okay? So we need a vacuum liquid lock in here. Um, and welcome in Rough Collie as well. Uh, and Poppy as well. Poppy, you said hello earlier, didn't you? I think. Sorry if I missed you popping in. So, yeah, what we'll do is we could. This is a steps liquid lock, and I'm a little bit worried. I mean, they shouldn't be bringing anything in or out of here. I'd hope. So I don't think we're going to risk blowing up a steps liquid lock. In which case, we might get away with it. We'll just use oil. We'll just drop a little bit. Sorry, a little bit on there, a little bit on there, it'll fall through that and vacuum that. So effectively you'll make a, uh, a tiny, uh, a tiny little vacuum in that tile. Oh, what's going on? Uh, missing research station. So is this, uh, uh should I start? Material, right, okay, right. So the materials one, I haven't started, so I'm getting just, just jumping all over the place. Um, if you're new to the stream, welcome. This is, this, this is how I play. I just... Jump from one thing to the other. We have basically no radiation sources other than using a manual rad bolt generator because there are no weasel warts on the other. Oh, ah, right, right. Okay, that rem 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 bleh. that reminds me of what we were doing. We were trying to grab weasel warts, weren't we? Weasel warts, weren't we? That's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, teleport is disabled. So that one, uh, is that one that's been activated. I was looking for the teleporter supply output. Right, I remember now. I completely forgot about this. That's what Week does. So we activated that, and then that meant we could send a scientist, which was who on earth was that? Um, also, where's the new dog's body as well? Because we need to we need to give them that. Uh, you know what? What skills? The scientist was assistant caretaker. Uh, So, so it should be Thervera, right? Sorry, that, that's right. Thervera. Um, so, yeah, we can send the assistant caretaker. Now, where was the teleporter? I don't know this map well enough yet. Uh, assistant caretaker. And it should also be a, a th, because it's a Spanish Spanish C, not a South American C. So, uh, yeah, in Spain, they, they use a th. The TH for uh, for the C and the Z as well, but in, in uh, South America and Spanish-speaking ones, they use a S. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's send assistant caretaker over, annoyingly with his gas mask. We need him to activate the uh, the supply teleporter input over here. We need some power to it, which we have absolutely none of. So we'll have to throw down a little battery wire job then what we'll do is we'll set this to seeds we want wart seeds and 
uh, manual use. Make sure you allow manual use, otherwise that they won't do it. So we can enable that one. Where was the other one? Was it also down here? I mean, I suppose we can activate this one as well whilst we're here. Seems like a good idea. We can also do some telescoping, right? Maybe? Do we need to? Um, I'll tell you what we should do. Let's drop the mask and 1.7% durability. That's to right. Uh... Cool. So yeah, I don't know if we need some telescoping over here. We can send a rocket out. 50-50 on that. There is also a sleep wheat over here, which is great. Um, so may as well, may as well set this to uh, cooking ingredients, which is a sleep wheat grain. And then we can chuck that over there. Is any? Is there any? Sleep wheat grain. There's 2,000. There you go. Right, go in. Oh really? Is Vosotros is only used in Spain? Really? I can't remember. I don't recall that. It's been a long time since I studied Spanish. But uh, maybe that's right. I don't know. I need uh, I need my South American Spanish speaking viewers to uh, chip in on that. I think I have a few. I know I have a lot of Brazilian viewers as well. So shout out to anyone that is watching in Brazil. Um, I don't know if the subtitles are okay or not. <laughs> yeah. Based on the videos, they I translate them using Google Translate. Uh, see, it's annoying that this is this is still slightly too cold. Maybe see if I up the temperature of this, I might let the the thimble reed grow. But it's going to get slightly too hot for the juice. The juice really like twenty degrees. Twenty is the uh, the perfect temperature. Although it, okay. Anything is getting a little bit high over here. What I'm going to do, so this is set to 22 anyway. I'm going to set this to 24. I think I just set it to zero by accident. 24. We'll just heat that up a bit. And what we'll also do, because this is getting hot here. So effectively, the spawn is overheating slightly. Not overheating, but it, it's putting more heat than anywhere else. Um, so we can, if we put some radiant piping around that, it will actually just cool that down a bit. Let's see, okay. Didn't know that, so there you go. Learn something new every day. And if you're playing only, usually you learn a lot of new things every day. Uh, okay. Uh, so, what seeds on four? I think you should see this go down, does it? And then if... Oh, no, hold on. Yeah, so I think you just sent a sleepy grain over here, which means we need to pop on the grill, if we haven't already. Frost bun. We'll put frost bun on forever. And uh, wait, do we have? We don't have suppress notifications back. Damn it. Okay, need to check my mod list. Um, and also for, for those of you that were interested in my mod list, I think I've replied twice now to comments about that. Uh, so I think I replied on episode two and episode. Oof, let's say four or five. Um, somewhere in the comments, I posted my full mod list a couple of times. So if uh, if you're interested in that, you can find it there. Um, or leave me a comment and I'll copy and paste it for you <laughs> one or the other. And uh, thank you for the follow, uh, the hat store. Welcome in. Uh -huh. Oh, and CZ mate, welcome back as well. Thank you for the resub, my uh, one of my longer subs. Appreciate that. <laughs> Saviour of only, maybe, maybe that's that sounds rather grand. Um, rather grand a title for little old me. Um, oh, uh, Tem, Tem Gal as well, thank you for the follow, appreciate that. So yeah, we'll grab this, grab more, more these warts, and we'll start getting some materials research going, that's probably an important one. Uh, where are we going to do that? I did say I was going to make this like a little industrial brick thing, should we, do we insulate it? Do we need to insulate it? Uh, probably not. <laughs> do we need to enclose it? Um, hmm. We're gonna have to put. Uh... Oh, uh, let's let's not do this one. Let's do this one. That will be easier to dig. Great. Uh, yes, razors. Razors always at work at the start of the stream, and then uh, and he usually makes his way home halfway through, and then reappears back to join us. So yes, what we can do is pop a little bit of oil here. Do we have? Auto. Yeah, so we'll pop a little bit of oil here and then we will also be popping a little bit of oil here too. 
once uh, we get this dug out. Um, yeah, well, that's a good question, actually. Uh, well, I need to keep slicksters. I'm not going to put them here, I don't think, because it's further away. If we're going to build the boiler here, I may as well strip my low this out. I mean, there's a steam vent. We can stick a steam vent in in the industrial brick. That's going to be neat. I'd rather build lower down as well to make room for the base that's going up in the top right hand corner. Yeah, it will be a little while before we get to that, guys. So just to just to manage expectations. In terms of building my lovely final pretty awesome uh, luxury base, it's gonna be a while because we need to sort all these basics first. So uh, bear with me on that. Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's that's why I just upped the temperature on the cooling loop or the heating loop a little bit, uh, just to try and. Just, I'm going to make this to 25 just because the uh, there's about a one degree difference in the output temperature versus the set temperature. Uh, right. Your salt water, I mean, that's great. We definitely need that. That's all. Cool. So, yeah, we only need a tiny bit in here, but we've got a... Um, we've got a high pressure gas vent, so people do ask this quite often about... If they're trying to do this setup, why is this overpressuring? So you need an amount in here that is less than the pressure of the vent limit. So the high pressure gas vent can go up to 20 kilograms. So we've got eight kilograms there. That's fine. But if you try and use a normal gas vent and eight kilograms, it's not going to work. So uh, make sure you, you follow that. So it's much easier to use the high pressure gas vent because you've got more, much more headroom in terms of what you've got. Also, make sure it's two tiles. One tile will not work. Do two tiles. Um, is the norm for the, for the starting biome to be completely surrounded by caustic biomes? Uh, completely surrounded? Sounds a bit strange. I've not heard of that, um, that store. It's definitely a very common biome to be near the starting biome. For example, here, I mean, I've got one there, I've got one there. Um, there's, they're further out of here, there's one down here. They, they're around, they're usually quite close. To, to entirely encapsulate it, I... I would find that a bit strange. Um, so maybe not. Depends what you mean. Right, are we done over here? Is this activated? All activated. Let's, uh, caretaker, please grab your oxygen mask. And we'll bring you home. There we go. Oh, we've got data banks as well. Also a good idea to grab data free data banks from stuff. We can use that later on. Um, from Terra. Uh, yes, Terra, Terra definitely has caustic biomes. I think every map has caustic biomes, unless I am confused. It's a very common biome. Uh, I, classic size, anyway, sorry. Classic size definitely has it. Um, the the moonlets and, and stuff, obviously, the smaller maps, don't necessarily have it. Okay, let's not forget to manually teleport him. But yeah, caust caustic biomes are one of the most common biomes, for sure. And they're also very useful, so... Bring out that. Right, a couple of kilos there. So we've gone to 10 kilos of tile, which is fine. Still less than 20. That's the important thing. And then we can deconstruct that. Uh, and then what we can also do, we just need to bring these out. Uh, we can probably vacuum these first. It's simply to say you don't have to, but I think uh, you do. It's good. Right, we're running out of food again. So, uh, yeah. Let's wipe some of that on. It's fine, it's fine. I mean, the caustic biomes aren't, they aren't dangerous, they're slightly warmer, but they usually don't cause too much of a problem, so I just, oh well, you, I just go straight on through them, to be honest. Okay, yeah, we, we need more mush bars. Like now. Uh, before everyone starves to death, that would be a good idea. We really have not got food sorted. Maybe, maybe the priority here, because of where this one stopped. Um... We'll do. I think if we will relocate this, let's relocate this up a go. Uh, and then we can we can do that. Uh, ah, but this is annoying because then I need two of them really. Uh, so we'll relocate this to here, and then that will give me two cooling loops, and then we can. Yeah, the more tubes we have here, the quicker this is going to go, isn't it? So that would be a good idea. We can just run this up here. Uh, we'll probably need some lead pipes in there. But we can just absolutely fill this with 
uh, with plants and then yeah loads of loads of food good job um, very nice okay so that's going to come up down there down there and we'll just run this this way chop that chop that deconstruct that connect that and then uh we'll we'll lead we lead all of that it seems like a lot i mean not in terms of material because we you just end up with so much lead uh, regardless but they're gonna have to go get it all throw them in the space by them uh yeah well, the, well three natural gas is great uh you can use, definitely use that that's free power i think i well i have the one down here i i captured well, there's this it's over pressured with no power so yeah currently for power we're running on coal generators and the and the spawn which is more than fine for now we're not really using that much power so if we uh can just rejig all that and then we'll put the heating loop up here or we'll extend the green line you tune it you save the bleach stone yes yeah yeah, yeah. Plus, don't forget you can geo to geo tune the salt water geysers for more salt, and then use the new bleachstone hopper that we got in the Moo update. Yeah, do I, I don't think I have unlocked, but uh, you can feed that back in, and uh, lots of nice stuff. Okay, let's get this done. Although we're going to need power over here. Um, if this is the in industrial brick, we can just run. We can run heavy watt wherever we want, because uh, that's our prerogative. Uh, then we'll, let's put in a large power transform. Do we make this out of lead? We'll make it out of out of, uh, out of copper. Do we have a copper volcano? I remember there's a there's a cobalt volcano. Is that the? Yeah, we, we've opened a copper and a cobalt volcano. So that one was there. Where was the cobalt one on the right side over here? So you know we got we got uh we got stuff. We got free metal, uh, especially on rhyme. I don't think we need to be scared at all, which is great. Uh, Okay. Guess we just leave that oil in there. Uh, put that there. Close that up. Uh, 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 before we close that up, let's get power out of here as well. Because uh, then what we can do is uh, let's run this along that way. Put that there. Okay, and then the other thing we should have got, which uh, is the uh, materials research study a terminal uh we shall put that off to the side because the uh the wheeze warts are a bit hazardous so if we just put it over here is it that or that it's that isn't it i'm going crazy so we'll put the wheeze warts over here like this and we can just pop a red bolt generator in the middle there and then the materials study terminal We'll go over here. I'm just looking at it because okay, we want to be a little bit away from the uh, from the radiation, and we will need a uh, red bolt reflector just to line it up. So we'll come along there, and we want to go that way. It's not ideal doing that because if this is full, it will just fly past and start hitting stuff. So generally, it's better to take a slightly different path um, such that it doesn't hit tubes if it's full uh, ideally we want to like come in from up here or something uh, like this can we can we make that happen maybe uh, maybe like that so we'll come in we'll come in that way bounce up to the right and then across and down yeah I think there we go uh, the salt production from the geyser. Yeah, so I did the math in the update video, Razor. You get three geotuners worth of salt out of the uh, out of the bleachstone hopper from from what you already make. So in terms of whether you can do five, because obviously when you if you use the three that you get um, out of the base amount, I'm not sure if you then get enough to get two more. Um, obviously, well, you get 20%, 20%, so you get 40% of 3, which is one point, it's 1 
So it should be 4.2 uh, if you 5 times geo tune it. So it's not quite 5 times sufficient. It's 4 times sufficient, I think. No, wait, 4. Oh, yeah, but then you get 1.6. Hold on, if you do 5, you get 1. Point, no, hold on. Wait, sorry, you get 1.2. Yes. 4's fine, 5's not. 5, you will, you will need to put more in. There you go, that's the answer. Sorry, it took a while to get there. Uh, so yeah, we'll pop these weasel watts in here, and this will generate our rad bolts. We'll run the, we'll run this cable around to the, why is this, does need to be copper? Use lead. Lead is great for cables, as long as it doesn't melt, you are fine. Um, and we will also put a, we'll just pop a switch on this, I think. Uh, we're going to put that. Maybe if we just, we just make a little diversion, because we can't put it on the ladder. But if we put a power Shut off switch. There we go. That's one. We can just manually flip that. Turn it off. Oh no! Hold on. Rather than do that, sorry, I'm being silly. What you want to do is automation. You want to do automation. So if you use the output port on the um, on the material study terminal, and this is the output one, and you can tell if you hover over it. So good tip. Again, I cover this in the automation tutorial. But if you hover over the port, it tells you what the conditions are. So this is the output port, and it sends a green signal when it's full, otherwise red. And this is the input port, which is green turns on the building and red turns it off. So we want the output port, but that sends green when it's full. So we don't want to turn this on when it's full. We want to turn this on when it's not full, which is why we have to have a not gate in there. So that is the logic for that. And yeah, make everything out of lead. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, four, four times, like I said, four times is sustainable. So um, you'll get an extra, uh, what does that come out to? 2.4 kilograms per second of salt water which will come out of steam as well it'll already come out of steam and salt which is another benefit of geotuning it because you don't even have to boil it to get the salt or desalinate it you get the salt for free which is great uh, so yeah let's let's crack on with that research um, we've got this built up we'll get our infinite storage going hopefully we're making progress down here too uh, lovely and then slowly going down here Printables. We don't need more dupes, we need more food. Sweetles are food, eventually. Well, uh, we won't kill them immediately, but we will we'll let them roam. Let's keep making some more of this. Again, we're, we're living off mush bars. Yeah, the other thing is, though, I need to uh, top this up. Ah. So, so, here's the thing. I want this to be the priority line. So it'll go up first, and then if it's not going up, we can uh, we can drop it into here. But then, if we do it this way, this is going to get priority, and this is not. So what we actually want to do is prioritise this onto there. So by doing it this way, we now got the right combination. So that means this line comes in, it goes up as a priority, and if there's any overfill, it overflow, it'll go out here. And that means this one, because it's bridged onto the up one, this will take, uh, this will seed priority to this one. So the bottom one will have priority. That's how we want it. So that, that, so this basically won't work unless this one runs out. And if this one is already stuck, stuck here because it doesn't need full flow, which it won't, then it'll overflow into our area, which is where we're getting all of our water for our food from. So good to top that up. Okay, temperatures are looking reasonable. There's still a lot of cold areas on the map. So, right, I kind of got three projects there, another project there, and a bit of uh, digging around over here as well, haven't I? Anyone get the feeling I've given them too much to do again? It's a, it's a common feeling for my playthroughs. <laughs> I could do, it's me poking them with a stick. Do more stuff. Okay, decorating... Uh, Revolt Leo will give you some super hard digging because that's a good one. Sure, exosuit training, why not? There you are, third time's the charm. Um, Joe, I think we're good, Joe. That's probably it. Again, I think head caretaker's pretty full right now. Uh, yeah. Ooh, um, we don't need more art, really. So I don't know what to, what to give... Uh, well, we might need some more ranches later on, but particularly when we start doing slicksters, we will need a lot of ranches. Now, obviously, these guys are going to have to go. They're going to the luxury base eventually, but uh, for now, they're going to have to contribute. Uh, nice. Right. 
Great. <laughs> yeah, so now this will prioritise going up and feeding the spawn, but if there's overflow, it'll go into the water storage. So this is now correct. Good. So use bridges for priority. Very important. Okay, I'm going to have to wait a couple of minutes for them to get on with everything I've set them. I see the uh, uh, the volcano area is looking good. Uh, they can't reach this anymore though, so build all the insulation. We will need to sweep all of this nonsense out, I think. Um, we don't want stuff melting on us. Uh, otherwise you end up with lots of weird liquids inside your... Uh, so your volcano room or a load of chlorine or something. I don't even know. What does bleach tone uh, melt into? Magma. That's what my guess is magma. Uh, melt into chlorine. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, and you'll end, then you'll end up with uh, with chlorine gas, right? So don't leave bleach tone in a volcano room. That is a very bad idea. Uh, top tip: generally, don't leave anything in a volcano room. Unless you're sure it's not going to melt. That is uh, that is my pro tip there for you. Uh, okay. So yeah, what we can also do then is send... Well, we can send any excess hydrogen into the infinite storage. Uh, but uh, I don't think we have a lot of excess because we are using a lot of power. And these two generators are producing most of the power anyway. So that's, uh, that's all good. Okay, so put that in and then we can, yeah, we can just farm tile all this stuff. Do we even need that many? I don't know. I think that's probably overkill, but um, that's fine. Okay, Leo is on the wiring down here. <laughs> Volcanoes aren't that scary. Hmm. Oh, to be fair, the this volcano did do quite a number on this area. Um... It made it very hot. I wasn't expecting to get that hot. It melted all this water as well. This is all volcano water. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got to we've got to get all this stuff out. Uh, so there's going to be a big sweeping job over there, and our infinite storage is over here and filling up uh, rapidly. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to prioritize this. So I'll just make it priority six. So, right, so yes, yeah, so this one's going to go right. It'll make it 51 because so it'll lose one in transit. So, right, up, right, and then it'll come there and go down. Uh, well, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, you know, the amount of uh, that stuff here. How do you decide on, decide on the number of pumps to leave inside infinite storage? Well, I mean, it depends on how many you need to use. I know that's a that's kind of a, a, an obvious answer, but. Uh, it, de it depends on how much you need to feed from your storage, right? So here I've got I've got two pumps, so I can feed one kilogram per second of gas to stuff to generators. Um, if you if you're planning on, for example, um, well you can do the numbers as well. So so this natural gas geyser here is producing an average of ninety four grams a second, right? So that means the two pumps in there can easily cover that this one. And if I add a couple of more, then it's not going to be above that, right? So two pumps is more than fine. If I was going to supply uh, a load of stuff, for example, if I was collecting hydrogen from spawns uh, and I wanted to make a load of generators because I was making loads and loads of hydrogen, then if I thought, well, okay, one kilogram is not enough because that will only do 11 hydrogen generators, then I might need to add more. So I'd kind of do it based on what you need. But the thing is... And with infinite with infinite gas storage in particular, um, infinite liquid storage is not so easy, but gas storage, you can just make a liquid lock to get in and expand it. Expanding an infinite gas storage is generally quite straightforward. Uh, the, the infinite liquid storage is not. So I would highly recommend that you oversize the liquid, the infinite liquid storage. Um, but the gas one, you can just liquid lock your way in and make it bigger from the inside. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've kind of got minimum on here. This is fairly minimal. You can't really get much smaller than this. Uh, so, you know, I also could have... What I could have done is left the space bigger. It would be more convenient for me to expand it. Uh, exactly. If I if I built a Hydra, because I didn't care about how much water I was using, then 
that that would be yeah probably a bigger sized thing you might want to consider bigger sized storage area okay right jeeps are on it but say i've asked them to get a lot of lead and lead is far away lead is down here so that is uh it's going to take them a little while to keep running up and down i suppose the thing the other thing we can do if we extend the pole down here uh that will really help them get up and down quickly so we can do that yes mm -hmm. yeah expanding wa uh, water or liquid storage is a complete pain so get that one right first time <laughs> plan ahead that's uh, that's good advice for anything plan ahead uh, always a good answer so yeah hope oh, really hoping this thing comes back I um well I have a bit of aluminium if I pop some aluminium down here this will definitely heat the simple read up that's great do I have I do have Draco server yes that is probably a better idea isn't it um I'm I always come to the idea of Draco's very slowly uh I, te I tend to prefer thimble reads but uh, you're probably right and Draco's would be a very good idea on this map well I think what we'll have to do is make sure the if we're going to use bomb lilies for them which we should because bomb lilies are great uh if I can see any why aren't there any here where are the bomb lilies can't see any of all the plants that died maybe they're too cold and they've all died um yeah the bomb lilies need a nice warm temperature and I don't have any <laughs> Uh, idle? Why are we idling? Got stuff to do, haven't you? Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's bump that. Uh, okay, and yep. We'll just double check this. Uh, ah, I see. I can't go there because there's a ladder in the way. Also, make sure you set your deconstruct filter. So if you press deconstruct on X, generally I like leaving that on buildings because then that way it doesn't, for example, take the wire behind it. And if you want to take the wire out, come into the wire overlay, the power overlay, then X to deconstruct here and it will automatically select whichever layer you're in. So this is how I use the deconstruct tool. Just buildings by default and then for if you want to delete specific things, come into the layer, automation layer, and then delete them that way. And that way you don't accidentally so take this ladder out and take wires and pipes and all the rest of it. So generally uh, a more robust way I find of uh, managing that. Uh, yeah, it does take a while to get Draco started, but they're not too bad. Let's say I, I don't think there are any balm lilies left, unless unless I say find some hidden on the map because they only they should die when they spawn in. I think technically anything that's in the fog hasn't actually spawned, so we might be able to dig across very quickly and find one. But I'm not holding a lot of hope, to be honest. Was oh, that an aluminium volcano there as well? Oh, my game has just crashed. Who oh dear? Uh, okay, we're going to restart. <laughs> I am Ekarunga. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Just um, can I blame you for crashing my game? This is uh, yeah. This happened to me as well when I was recording the story about earlier. It just crashed. Crashed on me. I know the this, uh, the satisfactory crashing is spreading. It's, uh, uh, I need to get this uh, my new graphics card in ASAP. I'm going to chuck it in after the stream. So. Um, I'll report back and let you guys know. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to cut the YouTube uh, video back in as well. Uh, yes, it's like a plague. Right. Uh, okay. Reset this to buildings, as I was just saying. Set that to gas. Right. Let's cut back in and go for the YouTube. Right, and we're back now, so just a, a quick fade of black because the game completely crashed on me, rather unexpectedly. So, of course, I cut those out of the VOD. There's only a quick crash. Uh, not sure why it's happening, but uh, we, we I think we lost a little bit of progress, but not too much. So, uh, we can we'll keep going, of course. Nothing's going to stop us. And uh, hopefully it stays stable. I don't think... It hasn't been crashing too much. I mean, only... I've not had problems really in the past with it crashing. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be a big problem. We'll just keep an eye on it. Uh, can you get bomb releases by digging up buried objects? I don't think so. So, so the, the buried object thing, I think, is more for 
That's a, oh, oh, but that don't mind me. If there's no plants, there might be some seeds, right? The seeds should still be about. Uh, it's been a bit silly, aren't I? Balm, lily, sea. Oh, there's zero. Okay. <laughs> they died and they took the seeds with them, or they never spawned. I'm, I'm not sure what happened there. But we don't have any. Right, puffs. Puffs will become food too. Any Anything that can turn into meat, we're going we're gonna to take. <sighs> hey, hmm. I didn't think they were buried, so, so I thought the buried thing was more about, like, so the starting biome is usually full of buried stuff. I mean, we can, we can try, we can try, you know, but these biomes don't usually have a lot of stuff in, I didn't think. So, like, there's a little buried thing here. Uh, they, I assume they'll be in a caustic biome, because that makes the most sense to me. I don't know why they would be anywhere else. We can have a look. Let's see, where's, uh, assistant caretaker, what have we got? A mirth leaf seed, okay, maybe. That, that kind of gives me some hope. There's some buried seeds. Uh, anything else? There's a buried thing here. We could try that. There's also some buried... Buried there. Now we're... Uh, we do, we're desperately hunting for seeds. I didn't think this was really a thing in these biomes, so... We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. See what we get. We've got another mirth leaf seed. Water weed seed. Was that there before? Uh, I have no idea. We're getting... Caretaker's gonna get stung. <laughs> Let's see. See what we got. Mirth leaf. We're getting a lot of mirth leaf seeds. Uh, below... There's another one buried. What, like, there, there's one, there's some down here. Are these even the corset by them anymore? Probably. Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll try. I mean, at the end of the day, we'll uh, we'll strip mine it and we'll find what we find. But at least now we've got some rab bolt research going, so we should uh, prioritise that just to make sure that's it. It's all right. It's all right. The meal, the meal wood is coming. I just need to, I need to finish the uh, the cooling loop first. Or cool. I keep calling it a cooling loop, even though it is definitely a heating loop. I mean, they're basically the same thing, but... Uh, yeah, so adding this bit of lead in here as well has cooled down the oxygen coming in. Just to even that out a bit more. Uh, ah, also, we really need to get rid of these hatches up here, because the hatches will eat the mealwood. Uh, and the sage hatches, so that's not a good idea. Keep hatches away from food. And that gives us a little bit more meat, you know, why not? Chuck that in there. In there. Insufficient resources aluminium. But I thought we had an aluminium volcano here. Right, it's buried itself, so that's, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. So this thing is, could erupt in five cycles, although usually it goes inactive after that. Now, I'm thinking uh, we really don't want to... We don't want to be here when that thing erupts. Uh, you know, we don't want a load of crap in here when this erupts. And we will do if we are not speedy. So, uh, what we can do is block this up. And uh, that'll make steam as well. Oh, not that. Block it up and we can build the build the magma blade afterwards and then just crack it open and we'll be fine so so uh, that's another way to do it I oh, know we can just we can build that from there uh, it calls the temperature in the wrong direction yes uh, heating is cooling cooling is heating uh, but but but, but that, uh, that materials research there we've now got the spacefarer module which is great uh, what else do we need? I mean, not a lot, I don't think. Uh, we can, I mean, we can jump to petroleum rockets. That will speed us up and get the oxide refinery. Going with that. Uh, so, I, yeah, I don't think there's anything really critical right now that we need. So, we'll just grab everything for the sake of it and use it later, I'm sure. We will be using most of the research tree, as always. You need all those recreational buildings as well. Okay. Yeah, so with this aluminium here, this should really heat this area up. I'd hope. Let's see. Fingers crossed. 
Yeah, we'll try and get some Drekos. Oh, there are meteor showering coming as well. Watch out for that. Ah, another natural gas geyser down there, so that's nice. That's another one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we've got to, we've got to focus on this cooling loop. Heating loop. Cooling heating loop. <laughs> yes, it cools the water inside the tap tires. Exactly. That's what I mean. Right now we've got loads of food. I think those uh, those two hatches made quite a big difference. Uh, oh, awesome. But we also have the pole all the way down, so that is helpful. Now, uh, we might want to consider getting some more lead. Just to help us out. Uh, a bit more digging. Of course we have one to prioritise on digging, so they'll go let's do that. And then, yeah, we, we need this stuff out very quickly. Uh, we should also be able to oil liquid lock it. Uh, and then... Put all empty there. We'll set this one to salt water and brine as well. We'll make this one water. Because we need to get these water bottles out of here as well. Ooh. Being pinged for starving. Okay. Great. Yep, so the, the materials research continues. Meanwhile, our heating loop. Should be getting done. Hope they're running down here for lead. Yeah, so our head caretaker is on the digging. So free up all this lead for us. To make it easier for these guys to grab. I wonder if there's any, any more higher up. The higher up, the better. The less far they have to go. That's a good thing. Broken some oil pipes there. Freezing our oil in the pipes. Not ideal. Could also replace this with a plastic ladder. With a possibility. If we unlock it. Uh, maybe we where's our Maybe we turn our plastic on and we'll just do a plastic ladder? That might help. Why not? Let's do that. Give more stuff to do. Excellent. That might might mean they can also get down there quick enough to not suffocate at the bottom. You know, which would be that'd be a boon. Take that one. Awesome. Once this is done, we can just chop this line, and it's being refilled from the water supply anyway, so... Uh, then it will just refill itself. So we've got this bridge on that's just adding to the cooling loop if we need it. See the water supply starting to slow from here? What's going on? I suppose it's just pulling, pulling up a mix of normal water and salt water, which is generally not desirable. Because you'll end up with smaller packets. So, yeah. So, the reason why you want to separate your waters or your liquids, generally you don't want pumps picking up two different types, especially if it's a fixed uh, setup. Come on. All right. Uh, ooh, okay. So, we will just, we'll just grab these uh, this research because it will be useful, even if it isn't currently. Pump being filtered? Uh, no, it's not. No. So it's just picking up everything. It, it picks up... Sorry, where is it? It picks up water and salt water, and of course you can pass both through a desalinator. Uh, just like you can pass water and polluted water through a uh, water sieve. So putting normal water through either of those doesn't do anything. It'll just pass straight through it. So we, do, we don't need to do it. it is, I think it's slowing it down a bit, because it seems to be swapping between... Trying to, yeah, there's a desalinator. Because most of it's salt water anyway, so... That's fine. We are making steel as well. I mean, the steel, we've got three three tons of steel. Uh, cool, this is done. So we just chop this. I'm really glad they added the pliers to the game. And then, yeah, this will go up. And then once this uh, goes past our bridge, it will just refill the loop. And then we should quite quickly see this go from uh, minus four, minus five, minus, minus 18 in this corner to uh, a nice balmy 20 something. See, it's losing, yeah, it's taking a lot of heat out of it already. Uh, but the, the oxygen that's here does not have a lot of heat, uh, heat capacity, so uh, you can uh, you can warm that up quite quickly. And then once this is warm enough, we can... I think it is already warm enough, we can just throw some 
some mealwood on that. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, once this water passes the bridge, the bridge will then refill the loop for us. Which is perfect. Because we do you do want cooling or heating loops filled up to the limit without overflowing them. Obviously, you don't want them getting jammed up, and if, if you can stop getting jammed up by just bridging onto them, fill them on with a bridge, and that way it won't get jammed up. It will need to, these aren't full packets, so that will get fixed when it, when it goes around again. And then, yep, loop will be nice and full. So these are currently 8 kilos, because there's some other packets being split. But next time it comes around, it won't be. And this will all go nice and green, and... We're good. If, you can already see how quickly it's working with the lead pipes. This has already gone... You know, over here it was minus 17, right, when we started. It's now minus 4. It's gone so quickly. It was just the uh, the pipes I was using. Uh, I think that also means we can take more dupes, right? How many... So I said that was 35. This is another 25, so we've now got 60. So that's enough for 12 dupes. Which is exactly how many we have. How much dirt have we got as well? Because obviously the dirt feeds about 151 tons. Right. I think I think we can take another dupe. So and uh, let's uh, the, the more dupes in here we get, the better, because the quicker we'll go. Uh, energy reaction. So the floor scent that could be annoyance later. Uh, I'm kind of liking Quinn. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. Decor I don't really care about. And uh, let's grab that. And next up was a uh, Nenesh. One, two, three. You are next on the list. So, so just FYI for all of the subs and uh, patient supporters, the list is currently randomised for the first uh, 65 of you or so, and then from there on I've got everyone in order of when they subscribed, so we'll see. Um, we'll see how many dupes we can take. I was, saying, I was saying earlier on, I might need to revise my final base design to try and fit more of you in. So we'll see. Uh, but also, I don't want to turn this into a 100 plus dupe run, as I've said, so we're, we're going to have some uh, some limits on that. Yeah, I'm hoping we use this water up because it's slowing down the pumping speed. Yeah, I mean, this is all this is already green. This has gone from minus 17 to to 6 there already. That's a huge swing. Hopefully good. So yeah, Tepidizer, super strong. You can see the Tepidizer is barely on. Like, it just comes on for a couple of seconds and that's it. They're so powerful, they're so efficient. Hmm. Right, but I think I've gone a little bit over the episode, to be honest. I'll tell you what, I'll call this a nice end point, because I forgot to do that last time. So, a uh, huge thank you to you guys on YouTube for watching this episode, episode number seven, and hopefully I will see you in the next one in a couple of days.